The combination of NFTs and DeFi make a great team. And when you combine all that with a play to earn element, you have almost a perfect storm for a game that is going to be fun and rewarding at the same time. Today we take a look at a brand new game on the Binance Smart Chain that combines all those things fairly effectively that you may want to be checking out. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today I'm talking all about a brand new game that is uh, just launched on Binance Smart Chain that uh, really does, you know, take the best of all of the DeFi world and the play to earn world and even is incorporating its own metaverse and puts them all together in one package that makes it easy to be able to seamlessly play the game, grab tokens uh, from a decentralized exchange interface with an automated market maker built in and, uh, you know, even farm NFTs that have their native token locked right inside, right inside. So I'm going to talk all about uh, this game today. Uh, before we get started, though, if you love gaming and NFTs and earning money in crypto, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash on that like button if you want to continue to maximize your gaming and NFT profits with me. That's what we do together as a community. We work at it. We're having fun. Uh, we have a new Discord that is, is going to be popping off here. We're kind of making a transition from Telegram to Discord. So... Uh, but you can still jump in the Telegram and, uh, you know, get all the information right there. All right, so today's product that we're taking a look at is called Bunicorn. Now, the name sounds a little funny, maybe at first, but uh, the project itself is actually pretty serious about the direction they're going with the game. And they've just recently launched here on Binance Smart Chain with an entire ecosystem and a pretty aggressive roadmap. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we are at the Bunicorn website. And, uh, you know, as they say, elevate NFT games with a DeFi touch. And, you know, I think that that makes a lot of sense. We've, are, we've seen both of these ecosystems kind of, you know, be a little bit independent of each other. There's been a little bit sprinkled in on some of the DeFi side. And there's been a little DeFi sprinkled in on the NFT side. Uh, but really having them both together makes a lot of sense. Now, Bunicorn, what they did is they launched initially here with, uh, you know, an AMM. Uh, an automated market DEX, right? Uh, automated market maker DEX. <laughs> and uh, that was kind of the first step here because they have two, uh, they have a dual token system for their Bunicorn ecosystem and for the game. And so having that DEX, I think, makes a lot of sense. And so the platform kind of consists of a couple of things. So you have the DEX where you can trade the tokens uh, that are, you know, similar to PancakeSwap, right? Or all the other swap sites out there, but on Binance Smart Chain. Then you have the gaming metaverse, which is, you know, the first game is already launched and they are planning on having multiple games actually within this metaverse. Uh, so there is going to be, you know, more than one game and they are going to actually be working on an entire metaverse themselves, which is uh, pretty interesting. So... That's pretty big, I think. Uh, then they have NFT yield farms so that you can yield farm NFTs. And then they have an NFT marketplace that is coming soon as well. So the yield farming uh, is actually pretty interesting because you stake your coins and you can and actually we're, I'm going to scroll down to this real quick because it's down here. Uh, you stake your coins and you can uh, essentially add liquidity to these AMM pools. You get LP tokens, right? This is a pretty standard process. Uh, then you add them to the farm and uh, the actual, uh, you know, uh, what you're farming there is NFTs that they're NFTs that have their native token bunny, B-U-N-I, that is locked inside the NFT itself. And so, you know, I like the little graphic they have here, which is like add LP tokens to farm, get vesting a bunny packed in an NFT token and then redeem NFT for real bunny. So after a month, you can redeem that NFT for the actual tokens inside, which I think is pretty cool. You're essentially burning the NFT to be able to do that. So they've definitely combined that, that part there very effectively. Now, when it comes to, uh, you know, the actual game, uh, the game that they're, they've already launched here is uh, it's called Bunicorn Rising from the Abyss. And it is essentially a card game. So it's like a Pokemon style battler, right? So you, you, uh, you acquire uh, you, a trainer and you acquire Bunicorns and you use them to battle against other people. And the, and the video actually here is pretty cool. It does a good job. So I wanna watch, oh, let's watch the video. A heavenly planet inhabited by magical creatures named Bunicorns. The land is spiritually guarded by legendary Bunicorns, the gods of fire, earth, water, and air. Humans lay the cane and live harmoniously with the bunny corn. 
I don't believe that. Not all of them, see? Evil humans. So that is a little bit of a look at the actual game itself. So like I said, it's a Pokemon style battler where you, um, you know, you're, you're, you're recruiting your bunny corn, uh, you have a trainer, you're leveling up. Uh, and so they have a pretty in-depth system here with all, all, all the things you would, you would, uh, you know, think to have in a Pokemon style game. Right. And, uh, you know, you know there's different factions, earth, fire, water, air, and uh, you know th this is uh, this is kind of the the main this is the main offering that they have right now is the bunny corn card game, and so uh, if you guys look you can see uh, exactly what that starts here. So uh, and, and right now you can buy uh, you know, recruit a trainer for 156 bunny, and you also need Burr. So when I told you earlier this is a two token game and system, uh, bunny is kind of like the uh, the governance type token, and Burr is the rewards token. So very similar to like uh, Axie Infinity how they have. SLP so Burr would be a similar to SLP it's what you earn as you play and then Bunny is kind of like similar to AXS token so if you want to look at it like that that actually makes a lot of sense so right now it takes 156 uh, Bunny and 980 Burr to recruit a trainer and then uh, you can also hunt for uh, these Bunny Corns uh, using Bunny or Burr as well um, and so that's kind of you, you obviously have to get a trainer to get started first. And to be able to do that, if you need to get bunny or or, or uh, tokens or burr, you can actually do that and trade it here right on their built-in uh, you know uh, decks right here. So you can see you can go from BNB to bunny right here uh, and locked into your wallet. So they have a pretty uh, a pretty you know easy route here for things like that. And so uh, NFT farms are also here as well. So you can see here some of the uh, you know farms that they have right now. There are no farms available, but they just finished uh, some of their first ones. So you can see here some of the first ones that they've already done here. Uh, and you see Ancient Monster Farm is also one that is also live right now too. So that's something you can also get into. So the Bunny Corn game in general, like I said, you know, they're, they're also going to be having a marketplace that is going to be for BSC based NFT collectibles and in-game in items for Bunny Corn. Now that's something that is not necessarily launched just yet, but that is uh, nef uh, that is coming here pretty soon. And that is part of their roadmap. And we talked about them having, uh, you know, pretty aggressive roadmap. Uh, you know, they've already uh, launched most of these things. And it looks like they're probably going to be getting ready here to launch that marketplace pretty soon because it was supposed to be coming here in Q3. Maybe just getting pushed a little bit here to, uh, you know, we're, we're in the end of Q3. So we'll we'll see if it comes here at the end of September, but uh, looking to to be launched here pretty soon. But uh, this, this is going to be a mobile focused game too. So that's one of the cool things is that here in uh, the next quarter, they're looking to push this to a mobile game uh, for, uh, you know, Heroes and Lands uh, pre-sale. So... I think that's pretty uh, interesting as well, and and this is all expanding on this uh, on this uh, Bunny Land kind of metaverse. So the the first game here, uh, the card game, is going to not be the only game on the entire Bunny Land or or, or Bunny Corn universe, right? So there'll be uh, multiple games and mobile games. Uh, I think it looks like they're going to be uh, you know quite a bit of focus for Bunny Corn in general. So a lot of opportunity to be able to to uh, to you know learn and earn here and play uh, you know a game if you like the Pokemon style trainer games, then this is a game that you definitely should be checking out. In particular on Binance Smart Chain, we know the fees are low, and uh, you know because this game has just launched, there's a really good opportunity to get in early and start playing. I know a lot of people say, oh you know these these play to earn games, you got to get in early, and then after a couple of weeks it's it's over. Well, some of them are are, are like that, uh, but I think that if, if they think through the the economies uh, well enough. Uh, we don't have that trouble in the long term. So hopefully uh, Bunny Corn is one of those. And let me know what you guys think about the game in general. If you guys like the Pokemon style, if you're a fan of BSC or not, drop a comment below. Let me know. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.